In this video we're going to look at the volume and surface area of a sphere. A sphere is a 3D shape which is defined by its constant radius, which we will label with the letter R. Now fortunately you're given the formulas for the volume and surface area of a sphere in your exam question. So I'll just give you the formulas as well. They are volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed and surface area equals 4 pi r squared. Let's practice using these formulas to find the volume and surface area of a sphere which has a radius of 7 centimeters. So we'll start with the volume. We do volume equals 4 thirds multiplied by pi and then we multiply by r cubed where r is the radius so the radius is 7 so 7 cubed. Then we can just type this straight into a calculator and we'll end up with this number here. Let's imagine the question said to round to one decimal place then the answer will be 1436.8. Since this is a volume its units will be something cubed so it'll be centimeters cubed. And then for the surface area, we use the second formula, 4 multiplied by pi, and then multiplied by r squared this time. Since r is 7, we'll multiply by 7 squared. You type this into your calculator and you'll get this number here. And once again, we'll round this off to one decimal place, 615.8. The units of surface area are something squared, so it'll be centimeters squared this time. Here are two more spheres for you to work out the volume and surface area of. Round your answers to one decimal place, and be careful on the second one because I've not given you the radius, I've given you the diameter instead. So for the answers, we would do volume equals 4 thirds multiplied by pi multiplied by r cubed and r is 2, so 2 cubed. Typing this into your calculator will give you this number here, and rounding to one decimal place will be 33.5 centimeters cubed. For the surface area, we'll do 4 multiplied by pi multiplied by r squared, so 2 squared. Typing this into the calculator gives you this number, and rounding that to one decimal place is 50.3 centimeters squared. For the second question, we'll do volume equals 4 thirds multiplied by pi, and then we need to multiply by r cubed, but we don't have r in this question, we've been given the diameter is 7. If the diameter is 7, then the radius will be half of this, which is 3.5. So we need to multiply by 3.5 cubed. Typing this into the calculator gives you this number here. And rounding that to one decimal place is 179.6 centimeters cubed. For the surface area, we do surface area equals 4 multiplied by pi, and then multiplied by r squared, remembering that r is 3.5, so multiplied by 3.5 squared. Typing this into your calculator will give you this number, which rounded to one decimal place is 153.9 centimeters squared. Now sometimes in an exam question they'll give you this shape here, which still has a constant radius, but it's only half of the size of a sphere, and we call that a hemisphere. Let's work out the volume and surface area for a hemisphere which has a radius of 8 centimeters. We'll start with the volume. So if we do the normal volume formula for the full sphere, we do volume equals 4 thirds multiplied by pi multiplied by r cubed, so 8 cubed, and that would give us this number here. But this isn't a full sphere, it's a hemisphere, which is one half of a sphere. So we need to divide this number by 2. So if we take this number and divide it by 2, we'll end up with this number here, which must be the volume of half of the sphere, or the hemisphere. So the answer to the volume given to one decimal place is 1072.3 centimeters cubed. So to find the volume of a hemisphere, you just do the normal volume of the whole sphere and divide it by two. Now surface area is slightly different. Once again though, we'll start by working out the surface area of the whole sphere. So surface area equals four multiplied by pi multiplied by r squared, so eight squared. Typing this into the calculator gives you this number here. If we then take this number and divide it by 2, we'll end up with this number, which will be half of the surface area of a sphere, which is represented by this region here. But that's not the full surface area of the hemisphere, because we also have this circular face here. So what we need to do is work out the area of the circular face as well and add these two areas together. To find the area of the circular face, we'll just use pi r squared. So pi times 8 squared, which gives you this number here. So we've now worked out the blue area and the green area, so to get the total surface area we need to add those together. So we take the 402 and so on, which was half of the surface area of the sphere, represented in blue on the diagram, 
and then we add to this the area of the circular face, which is in green on the diagram. If you add these two areas together, you end up with this number, which if we round to one decimal place is 603.2. So the answer is 603.2 centimeters squared. Here's another hemisphere for you to try. Work out the volume and surface area, and pay attention to the accuracy I've asked you to give your answers to. So for the volume, we'll work out the volume as though it's a whole sphere. So volume equals 4 thirds multiplied by pi multiplied by r cubed, and the radius here is 15, so multiplied by 15 cubed. That'll give you this number here. But this isn't a whole sphere, it's half of a sphere, so we'll divide this by 2. So if we take that number and divide it by 2, we end up with this number here. This question says give it to the nearest integer, which means the nearest whole number, so it'll be 7069 centimeters cubed. For the surface area, we'll start by working out the surface area as though it's a whole sphere, so 4 multiplied by pi multiplied by r squared, so 15 squared, and that gives you this number here. Then if we divide this by 2, we'll end up with this number here, which will be half of the surface area of the sphere, so the curved part. We also need to work out the area of the circular face though, which will be pi times r squared, or pi times 15 squared. That gives you this number here, and to work out the total surface area, we add these two numbers together. So 1413.7 and so on, add 706.8 and so on, gives you this number here. This one says to give your answer to one decimal place, so it'll be 2120.6 centimeters squared. Sometimes we have spheres and we need to work in terms of pi. So let's work out the volume and surface area of this one, but give the answers in terms of pi. We'll start with the volume. So we do volume equals 4 thirds multiplied by pi, multiplied by r cubed, and r is 6, so multiplied by 6 cubed. But since this one's in terms of pi, we won't have our calculator, so we're going to need to work this out. We'll start by working out 6 cubed, which means 6 times 6 times 6 again. So we have volume equals 4 thirds, multiplied by pi, and if you take the time to work out 6 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 6, you'll get 216. Now since these are just multiplications, we can change the order, and do 4 thirds multiplied by 216 multiplied by pi. So we just need to work out 4 thirds multiplied by 216, which is the same as 4 thirds of 216. We can do this by doing 216 divided by 3, which will give you 72, and then multiplying that 72 by 4. 72 multiplied by 4 is 288. So this is the same as 288. So we have volume equals 288 multiplied by pi, which is 288 pi. So that's the volume in terms of pi. For the surface area, we'll do 4 multiplied by pi multiplied by r squared, so multiplied by 6 squared. And to work this out, we'll need to do 6 squared, which is 6 times 6, which is 36. So we have surface area equals 4 multiplied by pi multiplied by 36. Once again, we can change the order of these, and we'll do 4 multiplied by 36, which will give you 144. So we end up with 144 multiplied by pi, or 144 pi. Finally, sometimes you get questions where there's a sphere and you're not told the radius, but you may be told the volume. For example, the volume of this sphere is 12,000 centimeters cubed, and we need to work out r, the radius of the sphere, to one decimal place. To do a question like this, I would start by pretending I'm working out the volume. I would do 4 thirds multiplied by pi multiplied by r cubed, but I don't know what r is, so I'm just going to have to call it r cubed. But I do know what this needs to equal. I'm told in the question this has to equal 12,000. So I'll write equals 12,000. And now we have an equation to solve to try and find the value of r. We could rewrite the left-hand side as 4 pi r cubed over 3. Now to solve this equation, I would multiply both sides by 3. On the left-hand side, the 3s will then cancel, so we have 4 pi r cubed, and on the right hand side, 12,000 multiplied by 3 is 36,000. Then we can divide both sides by 4 pi. On the left hand side, the 4 pi will cancel, so we have r cubed, and on the right hand side, we do 36,000 divided by 4 pi, which will give you this number here on your calculator. Finally, this is the value of r cubed, but we want the value of r, so we're going to need to cube root both sides. If you cube root the left hand side, we'll end up with r. And if you cube root the right hand side, you'll need a calculator for this, you'll end up with this number here. 
The question says to give the answer to one decimal place, so we'd find that r is 14.2 centimeters. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next, subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos, and why not try the exam questions in this video's description.